Hi, this is Scott Nomad. Welcome to my channel. So I'm a very big fan of cloud technologies. I used to have even Chromebook for a few years of my life. And especially I'm trying to use um, cloud servers for all my projects. It's much safer and easier. You don't care about the device you're using and uh, you just need a browser to access all your cloud resources. And these days it's becoming cheaper and easier to use cloud technologies. And in this video, I will show you how to launch a Jupyter Notebook for free and run there your R or Python code. So if you like my content, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. This will help me to create more content for you. In this video, I will show you a paper space. So paper space is pretty nice uh, cloud platform I'm using at the moment for my projects. And uh, in paper space, you can find a you know, wide range of different tools for machine learning and data science starting from really just simple you know jupyter notebook ending with like fancy servers gpu servers with the many cores with a huge amount of rams and so on so let's go to pricing and i will explain to you what you can find in paper space so there are two platforms gradient for like quick uh, machine learning kind of tools uh, you can use uh, such as you know notebooks uh, jobs and so on and core is for virtual servers here you can create any service you want so and nice part about the gradient platform is actually you have like a free plan here and inside this plan you can actually launch you know like your uh, jupyter notebook for free it will be like low instance types but still it will work for you and if you just starting that probably will work for you pretty fine. You have some storage included and so on, so you can use the stuff. If you want a bit more flexibility, you can go for, you know, like more advanced plan, like developer, professional, they have like plans for teams and business as well. And uh, within core, you can launch, you know, like any service you want, starting from, you know, like the most powerful GPU server in the world and you know like some standard um gpu like servers for like a desktop in the cloud and as you can see pricing is pretty low as well only for like seven cents an hour you can have a server in the clouds like if you have for example mac and you, and you want to use just for a few hours a week you need like windows machine you can launch this and pay only seven cents an hour just for time you're using it and here you can see you also have some you know like service on linux uh, with the really you know, big, um, uh, like, a lot of big, big number of, like, uh, virtual cores, and, you know, for, even you have a server with 244 gigabytes of RAM. So I think that's it about um, Paperspace in general. Let's go and check a dashboard of Paperspace. So here is how Paperspace um, dashboard looks like. So first, let's choose Gradient because we're interested in the notebooks. And here on the left, you can find notebook in, notebooks in the menu. So you can find other things here like projects, jobs, models, clusters, and so on. But we're interested in notebooks for now. So let's click Notebook and from here you can create your notebooks. So here you can see a list of my created uh, notebooks, but let's create a new one. So um, let's click this button and here is the menu to create a notebook. So first let's set up a name for the notebook and here we also can select, you know, for how many hours do we want this notebook to, uh, to run and uh, after that paper space will just shut down it. Also, if you have like a paid plan, you can choose notebook to be like a private or public. Um, but I think for free, you have only a public uh, option here. Next, you need to select a template for your notebook. And uh, your, after your launching, your notebook will have like all the software you need for your analysis. And here in all, you can find a bunch of uh, um, templates, uh, pretty, pretty good templates for machine learning. And we can go uh, with a basic one, for example, here, Jupyter Notebook Data Science Tech, and this notebook will have like a Julia, Python and R already installed for us. So let's select it. So next we need to select a machine type. So let's uncheck GPU. And um, here you can see a bunch of um, bunch of instances available to you. And as you can see, you have like a free CPU instance, free GPU instance. So let's uh, select free CPU instance. I will basically pay nothing for it. And basically that's it. We can click create notebook and it will take probably a minute to launch it and um, 
I will pause the video and will resume it as soon as it will be created. So now it's up and running. As it, you can see, it took only like one or two minutes uh, to launch it, so it's quite quick. And now we can click open uh, for this notebook, and this will open your Jupyter Lab like instance. And let's wait for a bit. And here in this instance, you can see that you can uh, do quite a lot of stuff. So you have already a notebook installed for you for Python, Julia, and R. You can also open like console for Python, Julia, and R. You can open like terminal, text files, Markdown files, you know, like usual stuff. Also important thing is that uh, you have like an, a storage uh, and uh, this storage folder is actually the same for all your notebooks actually. So you can use different notebooks and save stuff on this um, in this folder to exchange between uh, different notebooks so it's quite useful and you can click for it for the python and new uh, new uh, notebook will be created for you so you can just uh, execute something as you can see it works pretty good so i think that's it for the video as you can see it's very really easy to create a jupyter notebook in the cloud with paper space and basically you can do this for free if you want to check paid instances i will uh, leave a link in description and using this link you can get 10 dollars uh, balance uh, for the paper space so you can try paid instance as well so that's it thank you for watching bye